The pen uh, in any kind of a special uh, condition is usually dealt with uh, as an emergency and this in fact was dealt with that way. The aircraft was immediately given priority and the uh, high level supervisor initiated a call to the rescue coordination center. Pickerel's colleague determines that Swiss Air 111 is just 66 nautical miles from Halifax and 300 from Boston. But pilot Zimmerman has chosen an airport he knows. A lot of times when you're having a problem, you would rather be dealing with an issue where you're much more familiar with the airport because that relieves a little stress on you. This is an initial problem. He's sitting there, he's looking up there, and he's trying to think, well, I've got smoke here. Now, what does it mean? Let's see, where, where are we? where's the closest place I can go to that I can talk to a Swiss air mechanic? Boston. Swiss Air 111 Center. Swiss Air 111 Heavy, go ahead. Would you prefer to go into Halifax? First, we better put the mask on. Uh, stand by. Realizing their location, Zimmerman decides Halifax is the best option. Affirmative, Swiss Air 111 Heavy. We prefer Halifax from our position. Swiss Air 111 Roger, proceed direct to Halifax to send now to flight level 290. Level 290 to Halifax, Swiss Air 111 Heavy. The controller signs off with another aircraft. His jurisdiction is high altitude flights. As Swiss Air is on descent to Halifax, he hands over responsibility to terminal controller Bill Pickerel. At that point, uh, everything was normal. Uh, I, I gave the pilot an initial descent, and uh, he requested to level off at an intermediate altitude to get the cabin in order for the landing, which I took to mean that they needed to pack away dinner trays and uh, things like that. It was an indication to me that uh, uh, while his situation was unusual, uh, that uh, they weren't considering it as uh, an emergency at that time. Watch your speed, Stefan. Don't descend too fast. Roger. Yes, Captain. Now we have smoke in the cockpit here. Have the uh, cabin crew prepare for landing. We'll be setting down in Halifax in about 20 minutes. I'm about to start the checklist here. Yes, Captain Zimmerman. Zimmerman has two checklists for smoke in the cockpit. To complete both will take 20 minutes. This is Swiss Air Company policy. In the meantime, Lowe continues the descent into Halifax. Stefan, I'll need you to handle the radio while I do this checklist, all right? 119er point two for the Swiss Air 111 Heavy. Roger. Swiss Air 111 is now at about 25,000 feet. Pickerel advises them to descend to 3,000. But First Officer Lowe says he'd rather fly at 8,000 until the passenger cabin is cleared. His decision to remain high underscores the sense of control in the cockpit. 2979. Uh, we went From my point of view, it uh, gave all initial appearances that it should be a fairly straightforward operation, that uh, assuming that uh, everything happened normally, the aircraft uh, would require a minimum of handling to uh, uh, lead them into Halifax. Swiss Air 111, you can descend to three, level off at an intermediate altitude if you wish, just advise. But Pickerel is concerned the plane is not coming down fast enough. It appeared that the aircraft uh, might have been a little bit high, and uh, I wanted to ensure that the pilots were aware of how uh, far they were from the airport, how many miles they had to fly, so that they could uh, judge their own descent and make their decision about what they wanted to do. Roger, at the time we descend to 8,000 feet, and we are clear at any time to 3,000 feet. I give you advice. Okay, can I vector you uh, to set up for runway 06 at Halifax? Uh, Roger, Vector for 6 will be fine. Swiss Air 111 heavy. Swiss Air 111, Roger, turn left heading of uh, 030. Left heading 030 for the Swiss Air 111 heavy. Captain 
Zimmerman needs information for the unfamiliar airfield, but his flight bag is out of reach. He summons the flight attendant to help. You held me, Captain. For two minutes now. I need that flight bag there. It's got the approach charts for Halifax. Get back to your crew. Yes, Captain. This is your matron at cabin speaking. The chief flight attendant notifies passengers that the flight is being diverted. There is no panic. The plane is flying normally, and there is no sign of smoke in the cabin. Swiss Air 111, the localizer frequency is 109 or decimal niner. You've got 30 miles to fly to the threshold. Uh, we're going to need more than 30 miles. But still, at more than 20,000 feet, Swiss Air 111 is too high to make a landing in 30 miles. Zero. The frequency is a 109 or decimal niner for the localizer. Okay, Roger, 109 or point niner. And uh, we are turning left, heading uh, north. Swiss Air 111 heavy. And we've got to dump fuel. Agreed. So far, communications from Swiss Air have been calm. Still, Moncton Center initiates emergency efforts at Halifax Airport. Preparing ground crews for the landing of Swiss Air 111, Pickerel seeks more information. souls on board and your fuel on board please for emergency services roger at this time fuel on board is two three zero tons we have to dump some fuel may we do that in this area during descent pickerel is surprised to learn so late that swiss air 111 needs to dump fuel at that point it became more of a complicated situation in fact with every transmission after that it became more and more complicated Pickerel considers his options for a safe place that won't take the aircraft too far from Halifax. He decides to direct the aircraft over St. Margaret's Bay, about 30 miles from the airport. Dumping fuel is standard procedure. A fully fueled jumbo jet is too heavy and could break up on landing. Are you able to take a turn back but co-pilot Lowe wonders if given their situation, they might forego the regulations. They want us to turn to the south. Should we just forget about dumping and just land? No, dump it. Okay, we are able for a left or right turn to the south in order to dump. I initiated the vector back toward St. Margaret's Bay to start him in that direction. It indicated to me that, again, uh, it wasn't uh, a critical situation on board, that, in fact, he did have time to be able to go back and uh, dump his fuel over the water. Swiss Air 111, uh, Roger. Turn left, heading of uh, 200 degrees, and advise me when you're ready to dump. It will be about 10 miles before you're off the coast. You will still be within about 25 miles of the airport. Roger, we are turning left, 200. In that case, we are going to descend to only 10,000 feet in order to dump the fuel. Roger, maintain 10,000. I'll advise you when you're over the water. It will be very shortly. Roger, are you in the emergency checklist for air conditioning smoke? Yes. Uh, Swiss Air 111, say again, please. Uh, sorry, that was not for you. Swiss Air 111 was asking internally. Okay. Airspeed is decreasing below 306. Level off speed here. Just fly the plane as you see fit, Stefan. Swiss Air 111, continue left heading 180. You'll be off the coast in about 15 miles. Left heading 180, Roger. Swiss Air 111 and maintaining at 10,000 feet. Roger. Cabin bus off. Cabin bus off, Roger. The cabin bus switch knocks out all the lighting in the cabin. It is an indication for the passengers that something is wrong, but hardly alarming. Ladies and gentlemen, we have temporarily lost the lights in the cabin. Please remain calm. The crew will be coming around with flashlights to assist in landing. Despite a